Okay. Oh, this is gonna be this is gonna be interesting. Okay. <laughs> Hello. Hi everyone. It is good evening. It is actually. It's so weird. It's we dark are outside. it's dark outside. We are recording in the evening today. It just never happened. No. Because of a good reason. Absolutely. Should we share that? Well, I'm going to actually just maybe briefly tell them who we are first. We are the Girls in the Yarn Cafe. Well, I was going to tell them, but yes, oh, wait, we are wait. the Girls oh. in the Yarn Cafe. Are, are you finding more stuff? I missed a spot that I was supposed to curl. And oh, I thought you are finding more black fuzz that you need to attack. I missed a... Whatever. She wanted to look really pretty for you guys, and I woke up like this. Yeah, and I had to actually do my hair. <laughs> it's been in a bun all day because we've been doing stuff. We've been doing crazy stuff, but I am Tristan. There went that wow. hair. Wow. I'm Christy. Um, and I'm Christy's daughter. I'm Tristan's mom, what? and we are so happy you came and mm -hmm. are visiting with us. Yep, this is a yarny podcast, knitting mostly today, no knitting. Caution. Don't tell them that because then they'll stop watching. I know, watching. they're like, oh, screw they're that, like, click. Click. <laughs> it's Saturday, October 28th. Oh my gosh. Guys, it's almost Halloween. We were going to dress up for you guys, but we were. we'll explain why we did not. Um, because I was never going to, that's why. Oh, um, she was. She was. I actually bought on Amazon some of those little tiny hats, and I was going to like put it in your hair and stuff. You were? I was. They're you were going to try. No, I was thinking about it last night, too, because I was looking at them. I'm like, it's not worth it. Okay. <laughs> we're pretty we're pretty worn out. We've been working hard today. Yep. Because we got back from Rhinebeck. Rhinebeck. Um earlier this week and since then we've been dying. Well, I've been dying and my little house elves have been helping me with they they're not like that. that they're not they're bunny not. rabbits. <laughs> I acquired two house elves to help me with my uh, my Harry Potter advent calendars that are going out next week. <laughs> because here's the story. Okay. Because we went to Rhinebeck, which was awesome, and we're going to tell you all about it. You'll but hear. we got back, and we were both a little ill. And we got sick. I got, got sick on the plane. Oh, she was sick on the plane. But then we could think we were thinking, we'll get back, and we'll work on the advent calendars, and we'll get them all done, and get them taken care of. And then we couldn't, we didn't, I didn't do anything this week. Like this week I would, I went to work except Monday. You went work to work more than I did because I didn't get yeah. one on Tuesday because I was still. But we're still doing sick. better now and yeah. we've been working on stuff all day, packaging up Advents. Mm -hmm. I got my sock yarn club. Yeah, you got the sock yarn club done. Put together last night. It's, it's being shipped on Monday. So in two days it'll go in the mail. Mm -hmm. But we're having a winding party and. Um, I'm getting ready. I'm getting them all packaged. We got all the goodies. And so we're getting those all ready this weekend. And then next week we're going to be shipping those out. But it's just been kind of a, a sit on the floor and wind yarn kind of day. Tristan. Yes. Can I ask you a question? Yes. At any point in this adventure, advent adventure. Advent. 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 Sure. Did you think, what the hell am I doing? Um, I think in every single aspect of this adventure. Advent. Adventure. Sure. sure. Yes. Thank you. Yes. Um, I, I thought that, actually. I, I, you know, in the beginning, I was very delusional. And I was like... Oh, my gosh. It was your idea to even whatever. Like, do them. You're like, I know. One day, you're like, I'm going to do an advent calendar. You should, yeah. too. I'm like, I, this will be easy. Top marks. That's a great idea. And guess what we found out at Rhinebeck? What? People order minis, bare minis that they just dye the minis. Mm. They make those? Oh my gosh. We're winding all of them, guys. I say by hand, but only I wound by hand. I well, wound some by hand. Yeah. But I have a machine now that winds it really fast. But Yeah, next year we know. We, maybe. I don't know. We'll look into it. We maybe. might like our way better. I don't know. Our we, way might honestly just because, be the best way. But just no because of yet. the way I don't know. How the colors lay, how it We just comes don't know much about it at all. Yeah. We're just swinging it and it's turning out pretty damn awesome. Yeah, so, but anyway, we, um, oh, we have to do a drawing. <gasps> we have to do a drawing. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, so while she finds the person Kay. to draw, because we decided last time that we were going to do a drawing for that precious Halloween bag. Which is amazing. Which is beautiful and adorable, and it's a trick-or-treating bag with cats with costumes on. So cute. Where um, is it? I don't want to have to edit this video, so I'm not even... You guys I might just be with our crazy today. I'm not, I was going to say, I'll, go, I'll get up and go get it and show it again. I'll do a dance while you do it. Do, do it. we know where it is? I know exactly where it's at. So this is the going cool. to get a cat bag dance. Oh my gosh. This is crazy. actually how I would dance with the teenage girls I worked with. I'd go like this 
and go in a little circle. And they're like, wow, you really suck. I'm like, absolutely, I do. And and the, thing, the thing that I'm really embarrassed about is we so didn't prepare for this podcast. <laughs> no. So I'm like, I don't remember who the maker is. I'm on is. Google. Why am I on Google? See how tired we are? She's looking for your posts on Google instead of Ravelry. <laughs> oh, my god. I glory. hope you guys don't mind our silliness, but we have had it's quite a a, an adventure. But this bag, oh, it's right here. I'll remember. <gasps> Bumpy job. Crafts. Oh, yeah. No, Absolutely. This is the Halloween bag with the adorable kitty cats on it. I love it so in much. In costumes, and it has a drawstring top. I found Ravelry. Hold on. And we're going to draw. We we put up a post for your worst oh, one Halloween. one last person got in. Ooh. Good job. Worst uh, Halloween costumes that you've had to wear. I'm actually going to read it since or I'm on here, too. Do it. So let me go to a random number generator. And... So next time we will have our drawing for the Shorties on a Shoe Box, Cal. Yes. Because that's our monthly one for shorties where you make a short pair of socks that's no more than two inches above the ankle. Thank you for doing the admin stuff. Good job. I'm, I'm trying to make this seamless so that Number I don't Number 43. Let's, let's go see. Okay. Hopefully. Let's see. Who is you? No, you ha you have to keep entertaining them because I'm not there oh, yet. Oh, I was I got caught up in the moment. <laughs> so I'm really excited too. I'm like who won? Actually, I'm very distracted by the fact that I have a straight piece of hair. Whatever. Um, so the shorties and shoe box, and I think that's the only other knit along or uh, drawing thing that we have, right? Yeah. I'm trying to do this, and you're no, not we have participating. To. <laughs> no, it's the uh, uh, the thing, the, the 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 thing that you wear the call sweater, sweater, Rhinebeck sweater. <gasps> yes, thing. we should be a team for. Pictionary. Oh my gosh, Seattle! You just got a winner with you. Let's see who it was. Cause I just went past it. Okay, so there wait, is. Wait, wait, wait! Read it first, then say her name. Okay. That's a better way to do it. Let's try. Oh my that. gosh, that's brilliant! So, when she was ten, she decided to dress up as Hermione from Harry Potter. But then she had the flu for Halloween. So, happy Halloween. That's great. That's awful. Um, sad face. I never even got to wear my costume. Wasn't really a bad costume, but it was bad that I never got the chance to wear it. It's true. Agreed. That, it's true. Yeah. It's sad. That's so sad. But let's, Nerdy knitter gnome. If, but let's face it. A Hermione Granger costume would have been pretty, let's call it an awful because it's awesome, but it's awful at the same time. Yeah. I actually went um, with one of my girls to Comic-Con one year. And my ringer's on. Let's turn that off. What? Um, but when I took her, I didn't want to wear my other costume because it wasn't really appropriate. <laughs> so um, Did your bosoms show? Yeah. Oh. How did you know? They always do. Well, Comic-Con, sorry. No, I'm wearing this right now so that you don't. Wow, I'm tired. Um, <laughs> but no, I, 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 I basically did a braid all the way around my head and like slept on it and then sprayed it in the morning <laughs> and let it all down. And then you have to like... Make it crazy and Ooh, stuff. Nightmare <sighs> hairbrush moment. That was after. hard. So that was, a, that was a hard moment. Did you know what her? Do you know what her first name is? No. I, so I'm gonna call her Naughty. She Nintendo. doesn't. She doesn't. Ha is that who it is? Yeah. I know who that is. Actually. I know. Right. I have a piece of hair. But right your here. name is not on here, and, and I don't know you by. We're, I still haven't. We're not a fr on a. Fr you still haven't. Vacuumed. I haven't vacuumed behind the chair yet. Oh it's gosh. a pile of my hair. Okay. If anyone awful. wants to clone us, there is perfect DNA. Back DNA there. back there. I will <laughs> vacuum it. I'm not well, a dirty person. If they're in your house, they could probably just you know. What? Get fur stuck to their feet? No, I was gonna say if they're like looking on the floor for hair, they could probably just like pull it out, grab of it head. from you. I've been shedding pretty bad. Sh not shitting, shedding, shedding, <laughs> shedding. Are you that, sure you haven't been? I was shitting when I was sick. That That's was different. True. Okay, okay, we're that was a different off. moment. <laughs> okay, so let's talk about writing. Yes, that. okay, let's do that. So we're not gonna have our regular segments no. today because we have to. We have to tell you we were. We're in Big Virgins. It was our first time with a lot. There was a lot of people. There's a lot of people. Even even a, Jody and Tracy from the grocery. They girls, hadn't been there before. They ha I didn't realize that until they mentioned it yeah. to us, and I learned it then. So we had a blast. We. Oh my gosh. Okay, first of all, Tristan stayed the night at my house, the night before it's a sleepover. because it. I thought it would be a good idea to get a flight that left at five forty-five. Well, Tristan did actually, and we talked about it. it and we're like, we're like, that's a cheap flight. It's yeah, an that's early not a big bird. Deal. And we'll get into where we, you know, where we land. We'll get there at a decent time. D didn't really think about the fact that we had to be to the airport like by three forty-five, like oh and it was the end of. It was a Sunday. Wait, let's see. No, it was a. What day did we leave? It was the beginning of a vacation time here in Utah. Thursday. It was a a a, a UEA. school thing. Yeah, yeah. It's called UEA. So I didn't miss any school. Utah. I was so it was terrified. Utah Education, whatever the A stands for. 
um, week. I don't know. <laughs> oh, week. <laughs> Basically, what it is, is back in the day, they came up with this Utah education vacation. What it really is, is the opening of one of the hunts out here, like the deer yeah. hunt or the elk hunt. And so they thought, well, if we can make this vacation, like, educational, then we can give all the Utahns and the kids... Because everybody misses, would miss school anyway yeah. because they would go hunting with their dads and their family. Anyway, and so, Utah. so we got up. We had to get up at 2 o'clock in the morning. Got up at 2 o'clock in the morning, but we took some sleeping pills the night before and did a live. We did a live video. You guys might have medicated. seen that. Medicated. We were medicated. So we got up the next morning, flew into Denver, then flew into New Jersey, and rented a car and drove from New Jersey to... Seamlessly. It was perfect. No issues. No. Until... Was, what? Siri just decided to hate us. Oh, halfway? Okay. No, not halfway. It was Part like we way. had 45 minutes left of the drive. We, it was like a two to two and a half hour drive from New Jersey, which yeah. was the most beautiful. So Once you got beautiful. about 10 to 15 miles into it. As long it, as you got outside of Jersey. Yeah, like these, <laughs> it looked like, almost as if there was a rule I that. I feel like I went back in time. Yeah, that people that owned homes along this road weren't allowed to like change Update. them. And, and there wasn't any new homes. It was I think even the Victorian. people walking around weren't like on their phones. No, no it was just. technology anywhere. It was like we went back in time. It, it was, was amazing. amazing. So we drove there, and then Siri stopped working halfway through, and the internet reception was really bad from there on out. Okay, like people warned us about, like, the um, the actual fairgrounds at Rhinebeck. You have no reception. I'm like, okay, we'll prepare for that. That's fine. We're, we're not going to... We're not going to separate. We'll be we'll fine. We'll just take pictures. You can yeah. make phone calls, but it's just the yeah. Wi-Fi. No, the entire town and, like an hour in any direction well it wasn't that bad on thursday when we got there remember thursday night and thursday then, was okay and then even well thursday night was was not bad right it wasn't bad we, we went still, and hung out yeah it still we're wasn't getting all over the grace place. yeah so we got into our hotel which was in hyde park new so york cute. and it was about 12 13 miles away from rhinebeck city which and was so smart Yes, because we avoided a lot of the crowds. And we were on the other side of the bridge. If, you, if you've heard anything about Rhinebeck, there's another side that people go to for, like, India Entangled and stuff. And there's a bridge, and it, the traffic is horrendous over there. And yeah. we're on the other side, we're not on the, by we're the on bridge. We're on this side. great. So we um, got to our hotel, which was – it reminded me of the kind of hotels we stayed in when I was young, like in the 70s, and my no, dad and mom would take us to. It even old. It did. Like, but kind it of was, like that musty but smell, it was but you clean. know it was clean. Yeah. It was clean. And there had been like some, you could tell there had been some up, upgrades oh or something. Gosh. But it there was, was no overhead lighting. Was, Everything lighting was, was so lit. Bad. It was so bad. Everything was lit by like lamps in different areas. I think there was probably like maybe eight or nine lamps throughout there the There were so many lamps, but it was still so not dark, not, not very bright. When we did our so live, we actually had to take the, the lamp the topper, lamp the shades off. off. And I mean, it helped, but it was so cute. But we got there, and then Amy from, Amy from Periscoping, <laughs> Periscoping Sisters. <laughs> Um, was texting us, and she's like, come to dinner, come to our house, and stuff. I'm like, okay, just got off a flight, Seriously, two we hour just, drive. We got like, to the hotel room. <laughs> You're like, I'm going to shower, and we get there, and we're like, nope. Well, there's no time for that. So we had <laughs> literally had to, like, we put makeup on. We got cutesy. Yeah, and did our hair and stuff, and <clears throat> went and met Amy and Debbie of Periscoping Sisters. I have to tell you, though, what? when we got to their house, okay, they stayed in, if you've heard about the party house at Rhinebeck, they, they were in it. It was, like, 14 different people podcasters, knitters with, like, their husbands and stuff. When we walked up there, I had a total fangirl moment because we walked in the we house. We knocked on the wrong door, first yeah, of all. Yeah, we knocked on the wrong door, a and I got A bunch of people sitting in that room that probably didn't know who we were. No one knew who we no were. No idea who but we were. But I looked over, and there is Eric from Sticks Plus Twine, and I'm just, like, like in my stomach, I'm just like. <gasps> She's like, is that is that Eric? And I'm like, yeah, looks like it's Eric. And hey, like, that was my one fangirl moment for the whole weekend. Because after that, it's like, hey, these people are normal. Like, well, we didn't expect it. I wasn't expecting it at all. And so I, I'm just like, <laughs> I had a fangirl moment too. I'll talk about it in a minute. Okay. But we're knocking on. We, it was an old Victorian house that had been redone, and it was amazing. Three stories. It's haunted. But you like walk in, and you're in a screened in like front porch that goes into either the kitchen or oh to gosh. the side. I really There's, wish we could have just sat there and. Met. I know it was so sweet, but I'm like knocking on this door, and Eric and Sebastian has. His boyfriend were sitting there, and I don't even remember who else was sitting there, but, oh, Ramona, Ramona. their friend Ramona, who is adorable and I love, and Sebastian and Eric. Sebastian was amazing. We sat and chatted with him, oh probably gosh. more. Yeah. Um, but th- we're knocking on the store that they, they isn't, you can't open it. 
It's like a door I was door like trying to break off. in. I'm like trying to it was open. like a couch like, against it or something. And they're like, go around. Go. So we did it. And then we're like, hi, is Debbie and Amy here? And anyway, we went up these treacherous spiral stairs oh to get up to where Amy was. They must have been made of like oak or mahogany. They or were like, like this. Okay. They were like this. This was about this tall. But then they were only like this wide. And it was spiral. Yeah. So you're like. It, your You're foot, like tiptoeing up. It was scary. Like anyway, the thing that scared me is that a lot of people in the house were drinking wine, and I'm like, don't go upstairs. <laughs> don't go up the stairs. If but, you go upstairs, stay. Don't come back down. But we had so it was them, and then Connie and her husband, Connie from Chilling oh Nits gosh, podcast, I loved her. was there. And her husband Danny and Danny, and <sighs> who else went to dinner with us? Debbie and Amy, Ramona and Eric and Sebastian. That was it. So we decided to go. Connie and Danny. Yeah. Connie and Danny. We decided. And Connie had to go never to had. Um, well, we went to this little cute we, yeah. little diner. It was, um, a, little it was a little pizza, pizza hut. And it wasn't a pizza hut. Okay, it was not a pizza hut. It was a, it pizza, was a place. pizza place. <laughs> it was cool, and you, the guy like seemed like he was from Brooklyn or something. So he got very possessive over Amy moving tables together. It was pretty funny. hilarious. But we sat. But he was down super nice and, man. Oh, he was so sweet. But you, you could just tell he took a lot of pride in his work. Yeah, he's like, that's I'm supposed to take care of the tables. You guys just chill. Kind yeah, of thing. We're like, okay, it was okay. it was pretty great. But we so we chatted with them and we chatted, we got to know them a little bit better. And I love Sebastian. Sebastian was really cool. Connie and, and Danny were a lot of fun, and, and Debbie Connie, and Amy. I had never met Debbie. We I never had, met Debbie. I love Debbie. But we had met Amy, but Debbie. So Debbie was like a new friend for us. Um, I instantly loved her. Yeah, it was it was super cool. But no, Connie had never had um, carrot cake. carrot cake before, so we got carrot cake together because she's from Chile, and apparently they, they don't have carrot it's cake. Not in a Chile. thing there. Mm-mm. And so I told her afterwards, I'm like, I'll send you a recipe. So we're gonna do we're gonna do a, something. Okay. Yeah. So then that was um, Thursday night, and then Friday um, was the day that Needles Up, the Needles oh Up gosh. event that Connie or Chelsea and Sue of Legacy Knits podcast, and Andy. mother and daughter, and Andy of Andre Sue Knits, they had put together this little, like it's a small trunk show, and it had only five vendors. It was supposed it was to have five. six. Yeah, yeah, it had five. Um, but there were there were no competing vendors. No, it was like which was really cool. a yarn dyer, which was Legacy Knits, and then Andre Sue had her sock blanks. Mm-hmm. There was um, Amy Beth of the Fat Squirrel. Fat Squirrel for her bags. For her bags, and then there was Sucre Sucre, Sucre, Sucre Miniatures. And who was the what was the name of the booth with the fiber? A lady that had the fiber oh, braids, I and I can't remember that one, who. I walked in there. I'm just like, I wish I spun. Yeah, I'm not a spinner, so we didn't buy anything from her, but. They, that event, we, we prepared for it that day. What did we do during the day? We got, we went and, what did we even do? We I went, have no idea what happened that day. It was, it's a blur. I know. All I know is the event started at three. Oh, we went shopping. Where did we go shopping at? Food. Oh, we went and bought groceries for our, for our apartment. Mm-hmm. And then we went and waited in line at the um, Needles Up. And it was so cool because it was a VIP. Um, you could have a VIP ticket and get in early. We didn't have that. No. We didn't know you could get them. No so idea. we didn't get them. No. But that's okay because we yeah. just went an hour early. We, we went when they let the. Yeah, we just hung out and got in line. We were one, some of the first ones in yeah. line. We made some awesome friends oh my gosh. in the line. And behind Hi, us. Hi, Anne, oh our gosh. line friend and all of her friends. She's, we kept running into each other like all weekend, but apparently she's the fastest knitter, I think, in, in Norway. Norway. Yes. She's the fastest knitter in Norway. I had no idea. And then we made that awesome. another friend. was um, Her name was Beth. Beth. Hi, Beth. Hi, Beth. Um, and, and Penny. Pe- who doesn't. Peggy. Hit, no, it was Penny, Penny? that one. Penny? Well, and a Peggy. Peggy yeah. was a different one. But we met Penny and... And there was a Pamela that we met. There were yes. so many P's. I, I was know. getting them all mixed up. But then we're in line, and, and the VIPs start to line up separate, and knitting expat Mina was there. We're like, that's Mina. And then all of a sudden, the grocery girl's coming well, out. Well, it was funny because I'm like, that's Mina. And then I hear a bunch of people like in front of us. They're like, where's Mina? And I'm like, hi, Kay of the crazy sock lady. Kay. And I'm like, hi, all these other people. I'm like... Are we all just kind of like fangirling here, waiting we for all these people to come? It was super cool because it was we great. were surrounded by people that love and do what we do. Yeah. And it was really fun. So we got to um, the, oh, and then Melissa of um, Spicy Homemaker, she was working the line. Oh, she's hilarious. And Nicole of Loco was there anyway. Um, so they came out and talked. We got to meet him and took pictures. And it was mm-hmm. really fun to meet Jody and Tracy because we've talked to him online. Yeah, and Jody and, has a really good arm reach for oh, selfies. Oh, she took for selfies. Yeah, she's she's, she's like she's a good selfie pro. stick. Yeah, and Mina. Apparently, everybody didn't. Nobody knew how tall Mina was. I had no idea. Mina Phillip is tall. She's probably I think five nine, oh my five God. eight or five nine. 
And also, people thought we were taller. People thought that we were... We kept hey guys, getting... I don't know how many times I've told you guys this. We're tiny. We're short. We're, we're five, like, I'm 5'1". I'm 5'1 and three quarters? Yeah, I think you're just a smidge taller than you. smidge taller. We're, we're short. But we're, we're pretty short. Yeah. So just but, to let you know, don't look up there for us. We're like right there. And we, so we made some really good, cute little friends. Mm-hmm. Met some really awesome people on the we line. We got to see Sue and Chelsea and Andy. Okay. And we actually met them the night before. Because Sue came up to me and went like this on my shoulder. Oh. And I just like. Where were you? We were at the, oh, the party the, house. Yeah. They said hi to us at the Because they the party were house. getting done um, setting up for Needles Up. Yeah. And they came back to the house like right before we left. Yeah. But I, have, I was so excited to meet them. Okay. I, but can I just tell you my fangirl moment? Yes. Oh my gosh. Yes. So when we finally got in, which actually they weren't going to open the doors to the non-VIPs till three o'clock. Mm-hmm. Well, we. The VIPs kind of got done with their shopping early, so they started letting in well, people. Well, Connie and her husband Connie and her letting husband people in. were like the secret service oh at the gosh. doors. They were and, seriously like. Yeah, they're like, we need three, <laughs> bring three, four. There's room for four. And then he's like, okay, four, you got three. Who's four? It Who's was great. You? I feel like I was in line at Disneyland. He's I like, know. who has four? So then we they let four in when four people left. But we went in and got to finally officially meet Chelsea and Sue, and that was great. But then I'm standing there talking to Sue, and I turn around and, Andy, wasn't it that where it happened? I think so. It was either there or Somewhere it might else. have been at the house. I don't think oh my so. Gosh. I think it was at Needles Up. I think it was, but Andy went, oh, Christy, Tristan. I had no idea and she I knew said, who we were. Wait, wait, you know who we are? Like, I honestly, you know, you, sometimes you play that, oh my gosh, you know who I am. It wasn't. It was total genuine. I did not realize yeah. that. Andy would know who we were. I knew that. I thought that Chelsea and Sue would because we well, chatted with them. Yeah. Well, I ta- I chatted with Andy because oh, I, I I asked her if I could send something. Oh yeah. But I didn't. That's right. I didn't really know if I thought yeah, it was just like a know. random person. But I can just tell you. I think meeting Chelsea, Sue, and Andy for us was the highlight of the weekend. And we did our shopping, and then we said, hey, if we have time after, because it was India Tangled show was that night, too. Right after, or d- during the same time, almost. We said, we'll try to come back and help you guys clean up, because we knew that it was a big task, and they were just exhausted the night mm-hmm. before it was setting up. And I knew Chelsea, you know, Chelsea's pregnant, and um, so we, I figured we have a young person right here with us. We'll just take advantage of these young folk right? and the husbands and say, Not like we're we'll damaged come. at all or anything. I'm like, what are you showing them? <laughs> <laughs> like we're I was just gonna say my word for boobies, but Okay. So I'm not going to. We left there with our Rest goods. Should we talk about what we got there? Yeah, now? let's because we have a haul. We have and some so, run back haul. Let me let yeah, let's show you. Okay, so there were were like I said, five booths and I think I bought something from four three out of the five. I think I did too, except for I told Andy because I didn't get one of her sock blanks. No, I I didn't either. And I, I really, really wanted the puddle jumping one and I've regretted it ever since. You guys, I don't I'm know. Waiting. I don't know how it's done. I don't know how Andy does it. I don't even want to guess how people do these sock blanks. Because then they'll be like, oh, I could do that. They are like, Why? so beautiful. And oh, I don't yeah. mean that in a, hey, look at that skein of yarn and look how beautiful it is. No, this is like art. Well, Andy I'm is dying so. Dying yarn is art too. So is dying yarn. But I mean, like, a, a piece biscuits. of, like, you want to frame it. It yeah. just is amazing. And I just. Oh my goodness, after seeing I'm how so many she did, she had done so many different designs uh, and they were perfection. Just beautiful. Absolutely. Okay, do you want to start with yours yes. and I'll get mine? So I made, well, I was going to make a beeline to Legacy Fiber Arts booth, but I got stopped because I went by the Fat Squirrel. And I had never owned a Fat Squirrel bag or, really or a Fat Squirrel. Or a Fat Squirrel. Right. Yeah, yeah. I think that might be beneficial, except for. Side note, squirrels are terrifying, and they're a lot bigger than the cartoons make them out to be. And they're fast. They are fast, and they're, they're really terrifying. Fast. They're like a little, they're like a chihuahua size. And they'll steal your acorns. And they will, like, terrify you. Okay. Anyways, back. So I got a fat squirrel bag, and I it's bought so this beautiful. because, look, it's fall, but it has sheep on it. What? Her bags are so nice. They're, they're seriously, I didn't realize that, like, this is they're regular heavy. fabric, guys. No. This is a canvas. It's really pretty. And so regardless, like, and I have knitting in here. but Already? Oh, yeah. I used it instantly. But I just died with this fabric. And I, like, I wasn't planning on buying any bags. So I've said it before. I've said it a million times. I have way too many bags. We have a lot anymore. of bags. But I'm like, oh. Okay, your turn. Well, we both stopped over, of course, at Chelsea and Sue's booth so that we could get some yarn. I'm a little sad because the yarn I went in there originally to get, I didn't get. I got other ones, and I walked away thinking I got those. And so I, I got back that. home, and I'm like, 
where is it? Old age. Where is it? Because I want a Jack's Which Lament. Oh. Really bad. And I didn't get it. And they don't have it on the way that I want in their shop right now. Online. I think we both got this one. We did. We so, both got the Dirty Hippie. Dirty I got hippie. mine on the steel toe base, and which it, is 75, 25 merino nylon. Me too. No, here to add to the pile. I back. know. Either it's our DNI or theirs. DNI, DNI. or Chelsea <laughs> and Dude. Look we how pretty. Clone them. <laughs> it's beautiful. It's got oh like, gosh. it's brown with these little purple pops. I and never would have thought of putting that green in there. And the green. I mean, it's just gorgeous. That is pretty. So I'm excited to use this. Are you still pulling hair back? <laughs> What? You don't know me. Stop it. Oh my gosh. Okay. There was one yard out, out yeah. At Indian Tangle that I pulled like a whole clump of hair out of. It was awesome. Was, like, I wonder if everybody anybody ever does that with our yarn. I hope not. Probably. I like look through my yarn. As we yeah. I do. I try to make What'd you sure. get? So then the other one I got was it's called Sweater Weather and I've heard I've seen it and I've heard them talk about it. So I many love times. it. I think it's so pretty. And I got it I decided to get it on the Cozy Toes base, which is their cashmere nylon merino. Mm -hmm. And it's, I think there's a superwash. Yes. Oh my gosh. It's got like orange and purples in it. I can't even. gold. It's so beautiful. I got. Those are the two I got. Woodland shenanigans. It's a lot more Christmassy so than I thought. Christmassy. I, I looked at it on their podcast. Oh my gosh, there's more hair. Um, but Chelsea, looked, your hair's oh my falling out all Actually, over. this was a black hair, so it might be my husband's. Oh. <gasps> Eric? Eric. Um, but yeah, it's a lot more Christmassy than I thought it was going to be. But as soon as I saw it, I fell in love with it. So I also got it on the Cozy Toes, which is the Cas ca the Casmere Cashmere Base. Cashmere Base. Cashmere. Um, and then I got one more, and I need more. I need Jack Lament. I need the Sally colorway. I'm really upset that I didn't get those. But I did get the Mayor. The Mejor. And this is actually what, is I, this is really, what I went in to get. That is a really pretty. I love the grays with the purples. I know. Really great That base. burgundy base mm -hmm. and some of that orange in there. Totally my colors. And I got this on the Cozy Toes as well. Because I just, I can't help it. There's a difference with There's, cashmere and between cashmere and non-cashmere. Yeah, I just, uh, I just started dying on cashmere. I'm just like, oh my gosh. It's super soft. I love it. So super soft. those were my legacy knits. And we also could not pass up going to the Sucre Sucre. Is this a Sucre? Have we talked about this? We have talked about sucre? this. And sucre? no one has told us. Sucre, Sucre. Shame. The Sugar Sugar. The Sugar Sugar. Sugar Sugar Miniatures. Okay, I initially told she my mom. She was in a frenzy, by the way. I told you to keep me away from this food. She was in a frenzy. I have way too many And there are now consequences. Because <laughs> Oh my gosh. Didn't you duplicate some? Did you get duplicates? No, I didn't. Well, oh, did. Kind of. You kind did. of. Okay. I'll do them quick. I thought I got other ones, and I got back. I'm like, where's this one? I'm just going to show them all mine I together. I swear I had it. Yeah, me too. Okay. Here's what we got. Okay. Okay. Can I can't. I can't. That's a bacon burger. This is a gingerbread man. This is a cookie, and this is I a, got that cookie. a ghosty cookie right here. That's a ghosty cookie. It's a ghosty cookie with a pumpkin. Yeah, I got see. my... A pumpkin? Oh, I'm having the... A... Pumpkin is ill-placed. What? Oh my God. Pumpkin is ill, <laughs> ill placed, or well placed. Maybe. Anyway. I'm gonna meet that lady now. Yeah. And then I got the snowman, the two kind of kinds of sugar cookies with sheep on them. Oh my gosh! So Sue showed us these the night before. I'm just like, why? Oh, that's right. She, she, she did. Got like, she. I so seriously that's think my, she got like all of them. That might have been when I met Andy and had my fangirl moment. I don't think that is. Andy wasn't there. I think she was. She wasn't there. I think she was. I think they all were there and we got to meet all of them. Maybe. But who doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. Whatever. Hey, I just have to say though. Yes. For that being a first year event. Oh and my with God. how many people were like wanting to go, lined up to go and like everything like that. It was so well put on. It was well done. It was so well done. Like I didn't feel cramped mm -mm. in there at all. Like I, I, I'm not one that really gets uncomfortable in like big crowds or anything. Cause I'm always just like, excuse me, excuse me. I'm gonna like weave in and out and just get ahead of everyone cause I'm so short and they can't see me. Um, like a ninja. I really am. Yeah. I'm a line ninja. But they did it. They did they a good did job. So well. It oh my good. gosh, I was really Highlight. impressed. That was, was yeah, that was it probably was, the best 
for me. That was my highlight. That was mine too. Was needles up. It was really good. So then after needles up, we left and we headed across the bridge. And first, we kidnapped someone though. We oh, we were standing there talking to Andy and um, Fairy Little. Marsha. Marsha. I had never met her, and I I have watched her podcast, but it was been a while. See, so I'd I didn't never recognize seen her before. Her. So. And they were talking, and she was there with her suitcase. And she's and like, are you going to Indian Tangled? And, and just kind of like hearing yeah. the desperation said, a little bit. let's take you with like, us. you need a ride? So we gave her a ride over there, and mm-hmm. we found the place. We did find the place. We got yeah. a little lost, but. We did better that time. So we got in line at Indian Tangled, and we got there about an hour early, and it was still, it was a madhouse. Okay, the line madhouse. started and ended many times. Because oh we, we were actually still fairly the the front. We were at the close to the front. We were close to the front, and then it wound down. And then it, like, went into this bar area and then came around. And it was coming back up. And then it looped around again. And then it had it to loop around. around again and, like, follow the line yeah. back down the other way. And, you know, so when they opened the doors, we went in and everybody was pretty civil. Um, but then more people started. They, I mean, as when they let everybody in, seriously, I, it was like a black You Friday know the door sale. that we went through? Yeah. We weren't supposed to. Why? We were following the crowd. They were only letting people through that first door to kind of, like, but the people at the door were like, there's two doors, you guys. Go down to the next door. I don't know. That's, That's just why I, I went down there because they're like, there's two doors. There's two doors. That's just Use what I heard. Doors. So. Well, I don't care. We got in. Yeah, we got in. But And we'll talk a little bit about what we got there. But Indian Tangled was very crowded. It was a madhouse. It was so much fun, but it was but a little you, overwhelming. But if you were a person that suffers from any kind of claustrophobia, it would have been horrible. Um, I, I don't, will, and I still had no moment. I will tell you that they... Um, sent out an email this week saying that next year they're looking for a bigger venue yep. and a better crowd control system and so they may they may have to so actually get out tickets. It was it was pretty what needs to happen, it so. was pretty crazy. Like a little um, bit. we we stopped for a little bit and then we said, let's go to okay. the bar and sit down and have some food. We went and had dinner. <laughs> so we went and ordered dinner and stayed in there for about an hour. Yeah, just and, sat there and knitted. And then we went back in and it wasn't quite as busy. No. But I will say but, I, I mean did, all of Vine was gone. <laughs> So, yeah. I was looking forward to getting a few of her colorways, but, I mean, I can order. That's fine. Well, and another, I think another thing that they did that um, may have added a little bit to the craziness was uh, they had, the gro- like, the grocery girls were there helping Nicole of Hiloko run her booth, which was mm-hmm. awesome. Yeah. But it kind of caused a congregation of people to to crowd around. And then, of course, Kristen of Bullenbein. Everybody wants to meet her. Yeah, so there's these two bottleneck sections in it and then yes. all the people in the middle. I was, like, watching different Rhinebeck recaps. We didn't even go to all the booths. No, probably not. We didn't see all of them. Because there were some of them just like, they were there. Yeah, it it just, it was so crowded that if you could get into a booth and and look and buy something, then that was great. But if you couldn't, some some of them you just couldn't. I'm surprised they got to Key Loco. Yeah, we kind of made our way into That's what I'm saying. I'm a line ninja. So No one sees me. I'm just I wanted to see Nicole's yarn because I adore Nicole. And I adore her yarn. And she's such a beautiful person. And I was so happy that she's we got so to meet sweet. her. She's so sweet she's and sassy. Funny. She's, she's funny. She's a sassy girl. Y'all don't say it, but she's sassy. She's a sassy girl, and I really like that. So we did. We went through there. But um, also, Rhinebeck is, and Sue said it best. She said, Vogue Knitting Live is for the knitters, like people that knit and love yarn and love making things. Rhinebeck is for the podcasters. Yeah. That's where people go when you're a podcaster, but then people go that love podcasting. Mm-hmm. And so within India Untangled, of course, all of us podcasters were in there shopping, but then people would stop you in the middle. There was people being stopped everywhere. Oh my gosh, that's that podcast. So that's that podcast. So it kind of was really surprising. That was one thing for me that was very surprising how often we got stopped. It was exciting. It was so exciting. I I didn't 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 expect it. I I thought maybe a few people, but it was was humbling. It It was was awesome. It was very humbling and very sweet to have people. People that we admire, even yes, that were that knew, like I said, that the fact that Andy knew who we were just floored me. It was crazy, but um, just to be able to talk to Andy. Oh, I think he said Annie. I'm like, yeah, little orphan Annie. Annie. (laughs) No, just have people say, I know who you are. You know, when we said, oh, I'm Christine. This is Tristan. Like, oh, we knew. I felt the worst. It was so um, cool. It was so sweet for Caitlin of the Wool Jewel podcast because I did not recognize her at all. She didn't look like herself. She didn't look like herself at all. And we were all admiring her scarf and. And I'm like, she's what's your name? She's like, Caitlin. And and then she says, I think you asked her if she had a podcast. And she's yes. like, yeah. And she's like, the wool jewel. I'm like, I'm like You're I the know who jewel? you are. Please. I yeah. watch you. Yeah, yeah. It was, was really fun. cool. It was a cool thing, place to be. But it was really so. cool in the Untangled. One thing is that, especially in the Hugh Loco, 
Lo- yeah, that booth, the that loco one? hue. He yeah. loco. Um, maybe it was just the people that were in there, but we were, like, helping each other get the yarn and stuff. And, like, Debbie was in there. And I'm like, hey, girl, I'm just I'm piggybacking on you. And I got in there. Um, but we were, like, handing people yarn and finding colors for each other, working around each other. So it was, it was nice. Well, people were very nice. They were, but we had heard from some other people that there were some people that weren't as Elbows. nice. And I thought, you know... That's too bad. I mean, we're all there for the same thing. Why? Why not just work together and have a good attitude? And, and like, is it is it worth nice. it for yarn? I mean, for some yarn. people would say yes, but it's like, no, it's how not. available. Like, you can order it online, right? That's it's what okay we thought. I can't get you know, it. It's, it's not a big deal. But we got it. But we totally got it. So I went. Let's talk about what we got from Hiloko. Okay. I have been wanting her tweed. Yeah. Forever. So I'll just show because we don't want to take forever on this nope. podcast today because we're busy people. Yes. Um, we got some, do you want to show yours? Or, oh, I got some of the same ones you did, didn't I? Almost. These two. Are that one's same. lighter. I just hit the microphone. Sorry. How dare you? Oh, this is a little bit lighter, but I think it's the same Ready? one. These two. And then I also got this one. I went kind of crazy because we went back. Yeah. We shouldn't have done that. We went back to Hugh Loco later. Like we went first and then we went back. Oh yeah. And then I'm like, I'm getting some. I need more of these. I got I think, these five. I think Debbie got the, all the bright green. This one's plum. This one is silver fox. Silver fox. Oh, it is the same yeah. one. Yeah, and this one's sage. This squash. one is blush. And what's this one? Squash. Oh, and squash. These are my colors. So I'm excited about that. It's um, 85 Superwash Merino Nylon. 8515 Superwash Merino Nylon. And then oh, it nice. says NEP, whatever that means. Probably means with tweed. Probably. NEP stands for with tweed. And then I also got her barnyard collection. I was going to get the I can't even or shut the front door. I think the one I was going to get is I can't even. But then I remembered how much I wanted this. It's so pretty. And it was oh out gosh. online when I wanted it. Mm-hmm. And this one is the Golden Lace. See, burping episode. Wyandotte. dot. What? You pronounce that. Golden Lace Wyandotte. Oh, thank you. Um, but it's like her chicken collection. So this is oh, a yeah. different type of chicken. Yeah. And this is the one I wanted. So I'm just like, oh, <laughs> That's so. awesome. And, and so, what are, did you get some more? I and, got and then there's some, uh, um, I went to Lemonade Shop. Oh, yeah, so did I. And by this time, I had had some, you know, they talked me into getting, what did I get? A Cosmopolitan? Cosmopolitan. She got a Cosmo. I got a Cosmo. I, I asked for a strawberry daiquiri, and I didn't understand when they said that they had a full bar, but they didn't have that. It was a little so confusing. I, I got very confused. <laughs> I'm like, I don't order drinks. I don't know what I'm doing. And the lady next to us sitting there, she's like, just get a Cosmo. I'm like. Okay. I'll take a Cosmo. We'll, we'll trust you. I didn't have one. but And then I did an Instagram I'm, Live when I was a little, you know, elevated. Because I don't drink that much it's anymore. It's fun, yeah. But it was fun. And then I went and bought yarn. And I bought some too. So I got her oh gosh, um, singles. So hair on my... And it has, I don't know if you can see it. There it is. The gold Stellina in it. Oh, yeah. And so I got the two colorways that are very some, similar. I did. I got yep. one with the Stellina. Oh, gosh. Where is it coming? So this, oh, I thought this This was... one is called. <laughs> Look at the colorway. Stinky such. Princess. Oh. This one is Sunday Fun Day. And Stinky this, Princess. And this one is Alternative Facts. Toxic Hippo. So, so pretty. And I've always it. wanted her yarn. And so this is totally not happy. my colors, but she I'm was kind of She was kind of low on her She's stock. She's a little sold out. We back so, not so a big we'll, deal. So, we'll cut her some slant. Uh, but speaking of, um, one of the booths at Indie Untangled, unfortunately, had a little mishap with her payment system. Oh, yeah. We and so we wanted to that. mention if anyone ordered from, what was the shop? Tuscan Knits. Tuscan Knits. If anyone ordered from them and you paid with a card. They had a little bit, uh, something go wrong. with. They were using two different payment apps. And on one of the apps, it would look and appear like the payment You didn't even get through. a receipt. You'd get like a payment confirmation, but the payments didn't go through. So she It was lost, a receipt for the like, order, not, not for the, the payment. payment. So she um, like half her sales. Does, I guess there's not a way for her to go in and charge the person. Yeah. So the only way for you to know is to look at your credit card receipt and see if you got a charge from Tuscan Knits. If you know you purchased from her, but the charge isn't there, please contact her yeah. so that she can that get payment. That would just break me. That like, would be so awful. What all, a nightmare. Like, I mean, we we personally know how hard it is. Like how much, even just strain on your body, how it is to dye yarn. Yeah, and I mean, it's tough. It's that tough. many skeins. And for her to pack up and drive and take all of her stuff and set up, it's a lot of work. And yeah. 
it was beautiful yarn. And so Absolutely. if you did purchase, That was one that we were just like, I'm so tired, yeah. but it's pretty. Okay, let's go. Yeah, so just contact her, let her know. You can also probably contact somebody at Indian Tangled yeah. if you're not sure who, where, who to contact. But it's yeah. Tuscan Knits. It's the one that had the big cat, big tall on cat the on the picture, too. So, so not the big tall cat on the skein, but the... The big cat on the skein. The skein, yes. So another booth there that I purchased from. Did you buy from anybody else there? <gasps> I don't have mine from them. It's you in my didn't. DK drawer. I organized my yarn well, last night. Well, I'll show mine then, and you can show yours. But mine's so ones. pretty. The next podcast. Dang it. I know. I left, like, eight things at home. Well, Amy was working on a really pretty sweater at her at their She's house. She's working on the, the Comfort it? Fade Cardi. The Comfort Fade Cardi. Oh. And she was using these colors that when I spun right round was the booth we went to next. And they had these colors on DK similar. It wasn't the same colorways, mm -hmm. but just the, the color palette. So I got three beautiful skeins of yarn. Oh this is like a coral with bright oranges and Called like a juice box. juice box. And this one is, I don't know, this one is Snitch. It's a one of a kind. <gasps> Oh, and what? this one is Reaper's Rags. Oh, that's And that's nice. like a it's like a navy charcoaly color. That is pretty. But this has the charcoaly in it. And then it also has this color. How brilliant you are with oh those goodness. colors. The, it's DK and I just love DK. Everyone wanted DK. Those are that's it's, what that's the weight that DK. like went really fast. Yeah, it's hundred percent superwash merino. Yeah. I love it. Oh, so pretty. So that's what we got at Indian Tangle. Yep. And then from there I think Wait, wait. From there was the best part of the night for us. We went back to uh, Needles Up to help them. Oh, break I thought you were down. talking about how we got lost and ended up in the we ghetto. We did get lost and ended and up. And we're in cursing series name the, the really, entire time. The really dark side of town that we're like, where are we? I'm mm -hmm. scared. Like, Let's go back the way that we came. And so yeah, we went back um, across the bridge and went to Indian Tangle. No, no, we went, we to, went to um, Needles Up. Needles Up. And as literally, as I pulled in, Andy's husband was out there putting the last box it's in so their U-Haul. Because we got lost. We got lost. And then it just, yeah. It was. So we just knocked on the door, and they, they it was just Chelsea, Sue, and Andy and their husbands in there, which their husbands were amazing. They were so nice. Such nice they men. They were such nice guys. Let's see. It was um, Justin, Dave, and Corey. Mm-hmm. And we got to go in, and they were just eating pizza. Everything was already broken down and That's cleaned so up. And we're like, oh. We feel so bad. Uh, so we just got to sit there and chat with them for about mm -hmm. 20 or 30 minutes, and that was just such a highlight for us. Yeah. It was so sweet to be able to talk to them one-on-one. -on -one well, I mean, they're a mother-daughter podcast, too. Yeah, and I think that's that, like they are ones that we do look up to in the podcasting world, we do. especially. We love them. And so getting to meet them one-on-one -on -one as the people, not just the podcasters, that was that was really nice. And then Andy. So fun. And Andy's just amazing. She just kept calling us adorable, and I'm like, thank you. <laughs> I'm like, Andy, I'm a grown-ass woman. <laughs> I'm not adorable. I'm a grown ass. Oh my god, I'm adorable. I know, but it was fun. It was great. And then we got to. Didn't we go back we went to the back house? Back to Amy's. Um, to the big party house and chatted with them for a little bit. And then we oh went, no, that's where we got to meet um, Booby Wine Glass Girl, or Booby Wine Girl. She might not want everybody to know about that part of the the evening. There's video proof somewhere there is, apparently. But I don't. Let's, we won't say who that is. Okay. But we'll we just did, name off a bunch of people. We did get to hang out with some more people that night, and I don't. I don't even, even know if I know them. all their names. No, but then we went back to the hotel room, and then the next day was the official Rhinebeck day. Yes. Now, can I just tell you, if if you live your life doing things you the way you want to do them. And not listening to what anybody instructs you to do, you're going to just have a better life. Yeah. In some ways. We got a lot of, um, oh, don't do this. You or, should do it this way or make sure you don't do or that. Or don't go there. Or don't go there right away. Or, oh, my gosh. We did everything they told us not to do. We did. And we had a blast. They're like, don't go to Rhinebeck like right when the gates open, you know. It was like, Tch. And don't go to Miss Babs' booth because the line will be horrible when they first open. That was the first, first one we, we went, went to. to. Are you kidding me? <laughs> It was so awesome. Oh, my gosh. And that uh, line at Miss Bath's wasn't even as long as it was later in the day. No, later in the day, I saw bad. video footage where it went, like, all the way out from the venue and then all the way down this big, long sidewalk. And, and I it's just like, who even... is, like, monitoring that to make sure people just don't walk off with a yarn? Do you know who was at the front of that line cutting off tags was Miss Babs. Miss Babs. Yeah. So let's talk about what we got That'd at Miss Babs. Oh, my gosh. Okay. Her yarn is amazing. 
I see what the big fuss is. I do too. Because her yarn comes, not only is it beautiful, it comes, you can get it in regular size skeins, but then there, she also sells some in double skeins, like They're 200 monster grams. Skeins. And then they sock ones that are 400 grams. Yeah. Non-stop, not like What's tied, yeah. just non-stop mm -hmm. beautiful. So I found some DK again that I love. And of course it fits me because it's called Coffee Break. I was actually loving the name just because yes. like you liked the color and then you looked at the name. It's like So these are both Coffee Break and they are 200 gram skeins in a DK weight. And it's like Beautiful. golds and blues and grays. Oh my gosh, it's just amazing so that's enough for a sweater yeah 400 grams and i got three sweater quantities and so my first one is totally my color it's called old gold and totally. i got two skeins of this mm -hmm. and so this has the the 200 grams and then i got two skeins of this baby that's beautiful oh what is this this is the Goldfish? clownfish oh clownfish that's right so, so i got two of this and then I got these two skeins to go. Oh, yeah. Get them closer see. and see if it'll. Okay. So this is like a really, really olivey green. And it's called Lobster Legs. It's beautiful. Which I don't understand. I don't um, either. And then this one is called Autumn Calling. Right. right. And so I got it to go with the green right there. So this is going to be my Christmas sweater, actually. It's so pretty together. But yeah, so those were the big ones. Okay, I spent the most money at Miss Babs. Because we went there twice, and we, we went there twice because somebody I think we went wanted there three more yarn. Because we went there with Debbie once too, and then we went back again. Didn't we go a third time on the second no, day? No, I think we went there the second day. Yeah, we did. So we went there three times. But yeah. the reason we went there the third time was for you. We did, and you didn't buy anything, mm -hmm. and I bought four more. But on the first day, I did buy some more. You did. So I'll I'll show. I got the Rhinebeck color. All the booths at Rhinebeck had like a Rhinebeck. Um, not all of them, but I guess a lot a of them. A lot of them. Did like a Rhinebeck color for that year. And the thing is, like, if you don't like the color, don't get the yarn. I love don't, it. Don't get it just because yeah. it's a Rhinebeck color. And I didn't personally, like, I had one in Sparkle, and I'm like, oh, that's cool. I didn't love it, so I gave it back. Which surprises but me. But you loved it. Well, I got, so this is the Rhinebeck color. How could you not love that? I don't Tristan? know. It's got teal and purple and gold and it green. It just didn't please just and sparkle blue. with me. And it's it's the Rhinebeck it's color. It's 100% BFL. And it is 200 grams, so it's it's just 950 yards. I mean, that you can do, do a lot like with that. you like heck Yeah, and fingering weight. I mean, that is beautiful. What a shawl. I mean, that would oh, just no, be a gonna gorgeous be, shawl. That's going to be great. Yes. I just didn't want it. And then we saw this new kind of yarn. I bought all sparkle. It's a sparkle yarn, but I hadn't heard of it. And we, what were we calling it? We were calling, I was it, calling the it the Lorax. Lorax from <laughs> Dr. Seuss. It's Lorax. Or Loro. I don't know. Lorex. But I'm just going to call it um, the Lorax. And it's Merino. 92% Merino, 8% Dr. Seuss, pretty yes. much. Pretty so, much. Do you want to show a couple of yours? Let's do the she ones. got a whole bunch. Yeah, so these are the... Oh, this is the one. Okay, these are the ones we're going to do a mommy-daughter shawl knit along. Yes. So I don't even like purple, but these are beautiful. Look how gorgeous look these that. are. So I got Wine Cellar, which is awesome. And I got Mayhem. And I got Berlin and Purple Gallinule, G-A-L-L-I-N-U-L-E, Gallinule. Um, I don't think that's right, but okay. Wild Iris Non-Repeatable. This is Babette Repeatable. Oh, I didn't know she did that. Do you see that? The yeah, this is non-repeatable. Wow. Look how brilliant those look together. It, Actually, this one looks so similar to my other colorway, though, the that I thought that I lost it. The sparkle in it, though, is it's a, it looks like a different kind of sparkle than mm -hmm. Stolina. Look at the sparkle. I know. So you got some more. Okay, so put those down. Um, she got more. So That's all I got. Then I got this beauty, and it's called Fang. That's awesome. I love it. Um, and then I got these for a sweater, and I think I'm going to make, um, I don't know what it's called. I'm going to make a sweater. A sweater these, so. of some sort. That's black, and that looks I weird know. in the middle. It doesn't look black. It looks like a bluish, doesn't it? Almost like a purple. There. But it's not. It's jet black. Look how sparkly that black it's is. It's so sparkly. So the black is Nebula. This pretty one is Wolfston. Yep. And look at that. So awesome. And then this one is Sonic. Boom. Sonic boom. So these are going to be a sweater for me, too. So, um... That, I mean, we loved Miss Babs. We loved Miss Babs' booth and went there, you know, several times, like I said. The next day, so at, at Rhinebeck, 
um, the actual Rhinebeck. They had the podcaster meetup, which was oh so gosh. fun. We got to go stand on a hill. It was called the hill, and all like, the podcasters. We were trying to figure came. out when the direction, where the directions were. They were like the hill. I'm like, this entire thing. place has hills. There's like yeah. five of them. They're like, you'll know it. So we went up there, and it, that was so much fun. We got oh. to meet so many beautiful people. Got to meet people that we were fans of. Oh yeah. We exchanged buttons, little pins, and oh, that was just so much buttons. fun. I mean, just got to meet so many fun people. I know. And then after that, we did a little bit more shopping, and then we called it a day. We didn't stay very much longer after yeah, the no, podcast we, meetup. I don't or, remember. What, I think we went We went and ate. We went and had dinner. Just Tristan and I went mm-hmm. to a, a cute little restaurant in town in Rhinebeck. And then we got lost in Kingston later. Yeah, we decided to go to a, another little open house slash, like, trunk show, but it was a shop. It was um, Jill Draper. Yes. Jill Draper's shop, and we went over there, and she had an open house, was serving some wine, had some treats Mm -hmm. and got to see all of her beautiful um yarn babies which are like 400 gram big huge things of yarn we didn't get anything there uh that took forever to get across the bridge though that time at that point i was just like that was a that was a long that was a long drive like a long (laughs) drive to go like 10 miles yeah but just because of the traffic yeah then we went and hung out some more over at the party house and Mm -hmm. ended up having the grocery girls show up and chelsea and sue and we like room hopped for a bit and nicole uh, huloco connie connie's husband danny was like force feeding us ribs it was delicious he made these ribs that were so good pork ribs yeah it was really fun they were so good then then we called it a night again and yeah we left a little early we had to get on the plane the next day so we went to rhinebeck for a little bit more, just for a few hours, mm-hmm. showed up at Rhinebeck, and while we were there, in our in our yoga pants and our Walmart t-shirts, found I found these. Oh something. my gosh! Yeah, I got a couple of these too, but I wasn't gonna bring them because you have them. I got these adorable. I won't show all of them. I'll just show show one or two. But um, these cute this this man oh. and his wife had this booth, and his wife hand mach, hand makes or machine makes machine makes by hand. These cute little Christmas ornaments. Oh they had giant stockings, too. They had stockings like this, I'm too. So but tempting. I got, like, I think I got nine or ten of these. They were, like, yeah. yeah, Three for... Three for something. Yeah. So I got nine of them, all different, of these Christmas ornaments to put on my tree. I'm going to have, like, That's a little knit so tree. Cute. <gasps> so cute. This one has this one has a reindeer on it. And this one has a snowflake. But they have they had one with sheep, and there's, like, ones with mistletoe and candy canes anyway a whole bunch of stuff so cute so cute and so then i think we then we pretty much wrapped up our weekend we Um, drove straight from there straight from there to new jersey got on the plane and got sick Tristan got a little air sick it was a long flight i was getting sick sick though yeah you were you were sick for a couple days after that but that was a long flight like that the first flight the first leg was the long leg for us all the way to denver that was long. That took yeah. for the ever. second leg. I just fell asleep. So I'm like, if I stay up, I'm gonna be contemplating throwing up this entire yeah. time, and I don't want to do that. So if you guys had thought about going to Rhinebeck and wondered if it would be worth it, I would highly suggest going. I mean, it's definitely not like a Vogue Knitting Live. They did. They there were classes you could mm-hmm. you could get go to classes. We chose not to. Yeah. Um, but it's definitely a different feel. It's it, like I said, it's more about meeting people. It's a very social event. Yeah. Um. And we're going next year. We are totally going next year. We're going. And we're trying to actually plan out this next year a little bit to see what ones we want to go to. But I think there's a few we want to go to. Because I know Needles Up is going to be at the Maryland Sheep and Wool in May. And that would be something I would want to go. go again anyways. But I, I like, do. We thought about going to Vogue Knitting Live in January. But I don't. I think I don't we're know just. I want to. I had two trips before this one. Yeah. I have two more coming in the next two weeks that I have to go and on for business. And if there and is a Vogue Knitting Live down in uh, Las Vegas this next year. We might year, do that. That might be just the easiest, nicest thing yeah. to do. Grab a quick flight and go down. But for all of you that came up and said hi to us, thank we you so much. So appreciate Seriously, it. um, it was so sweet. We had such a blast, and it was such the a podcaster meetup. I think we were there for almost like two hours. We yes. were just sitting there talking with everyone. By the end, we just found a little patch of grass and <laughs> yeah. we sat and started knitting because we were just so tired. I think that's what a lot of uh, podcaster ads actually ended up doing yeah, because we, saw, we were going there would be like clumps when we, we were saw leaving. amber down the hill on, yeah. the, on the ground with some people and then chelsea and sue came and sat by they were us, chilling with and, us for a bit and we just looked around and people just started kind of settling in and it was just mm-hmm. really it was a really nice it was a crazy weekend it was so much fun. it was exhausting um but it was like a county fair and it was just so much fun so we yeah. say you should go it, it seriously go surpassed it. everything that i thought 
Yeah, and even like the, in the Rhinebeck, there were so many vendors that it wasn't. I, I, I still mean, don't think we had them all. No, I don't, we didn't hit all the booths. But there were only a few booths that were like crazy busy. But yeah. the rest of them were just like a county fair vendors yeah. and. Yeah, I, I don't think you'd have a problem if you even if you have claustrophobia. No, I think the Rhinebeck part was fine. Yeah, it was at Indian Tangled. Indian Tangled. But I think <laughs> still fine. go next year to Indian Tangled because they are going to get a I'm bigger going venue. To. We're going to do it. Yeah. We're going for it. I really it. don't care. I will. Yeah. I mean, it's supporting people in their art. Supporting I mean, if makers. We, if we were in that situation, we would still want people to come too. Supporting makers. We wanted to do all the things. This, I mean, this Rhinebeck, we were like, let's do all the things. If we're going to go... We're going to go to everything that, yeah, that they Yeah, and offer. we went to everything. And we did. And <laughs> we, we did ma- all of the things. We made sure that, that we said we were going to have fun. We were going to, you know, be positive and upbeat no matter what the situations that came up. I do have to say, though, I almost yeah. punched Debbie. You almost punched Debbie? That was so funny. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so we were looking at yarn in one of the booths really fast. Um, and all of a sudden, I, I felt someone grab my butt. And I got into this mode of, like, my first thought was I'm like, we're at a crafting fair. The guys here are supposed to be nice. These are supposed to be nice. And people. in my brain, I'm just thinking of like this old, like crouched down man just going around and pinching girls' butts it as he walks around. And so I turn around. I'm just like in this mode where my eyebrows went up, where I'm like ready for attack mode, like, or like what just happened? Let's talk about this. And you are going to get a talking to from me. But my hand went up too, and I'm just like. And it was Debbie, and she walks off. And Debbie's She's like, just walking off like this look on her face. And so I catch her in Miss Babs, and I totally grabbed her butt, too. And she freaked out, too. Yep. So there. it was also like, I am definitely not in Utah anymore, because I don't think I've ever had my butt grabbed by anyone. Not in public. No? Hmm? But, so that was our week. (laughs) And, you know, in two weeks, we will have a regular podcast. Yes. Where we'll have all of our regular segments. Honestly, I haven't gotten a lot of knitting done in the last, since Rhinebeck. I finished three hats. See, we've been, it's been minimal. I mean, we you did hats, which are quick and easy. You designed yeah. some, though. They're, they're I designed beautiful. some. I'm going to be coming out with my design soon. I still don't know what I'm going to name it. Um, but she's going to release those patterns down the road, I, yeah. I hope. Yeah, I'm going to be releasing. So I came up with two hat patterns. I'm writing one of them down. I'm going to have a test knit. Hopefully, I'll have it published in the next month or so. Um, and then another thing coming up for me really fast is... I'm going to be doing Christmas kits as soon as we get the advent out of the way. Um, I'm going to be starting Christmas kits, and I got very discouraged from doing uh, Nightmare Before Christmas for Halloween because two days before I was going to announce it on here, other people were like, oh, we're doing Nightmare Before Christmas for Halloween, not saying any names, of course. Chelsea and Sue. Um, (coughs) And Meg. (coughs) They totally stole it from your brain. Um, (laughs) And so I'm like, well, I'm not going to do it for Halloween. That's fine. But it's still been just nagging at me. And so I'm going to do it for Christmas. And I'm going to do five sets. And it's going to be sock sets. So it's going to be a full skein. And then a 20 gram mini for heels, toes, and cuffs. And I know the first one's going to be called Sandy Claws. I don't know what the other four are going to be. I have an idea. But just be on the lookout for that. Because I'm going to be putting it on my Instagram. And then on Wednesday, November 1st, I will be releasing my final month of... Or really, I'll be taking pre-orders, I should say, for my final month of the Naughty or Nice Yarn Club. And I hope everybody has liked those colors. I haven't seen, I've seen one person post about it on Instagram. And I was hoping to see They're what so people pretty. thought. I liked them. I thought they turned out really good. I think they're really pretty. Yeah. So I'm oh just Oh my gosh, though, guys. It's, 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 it's November, basically. Pretty much Thanksgiving right Have now. you done your knitting for Christmas? Because I haven't. No. I have. I, I, I planned have grand, it. Grand, I haven't. Grand plans. Oh, my God. Nothing's done. So. <sighs> but anyway, thanks for tuning in just to pretty much listen to us rant babble and babble about, about Rhinebeck, Rhinebeck and, and show you all the fun <laughs> things we got. And we'll be back in a couple of weeks to do a regularly scheduled podcast. And hopefully we won't be as tired and hyper It'll all of a sudden. It'll be during the day, most likely, again. So anyway, we hope you guys have a really good week. And. 